my. What a peculiar place to have a party. Oh. You know, Dino, we really shouldn't <coughs> be doing this. After all, we haven't been invited. And curiosity often leads to trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones, and welcome to my channel. Why am I doing this with my head? I don't know. But anyway, thanks for coming on to my channel. This is part of a collaboration with Christy Creates, who just hit 15,000 subscribers. Is she amazing or what? Please check out her channel here, and also check out her co-host, Crafting with Cass. This is part of the Chic for Cheap Challenge. And I'm going to make something Mackenzie Childs inspired. We all know that's pretty, pretty cheap, but it ain't cheap. Cheap? Cheap? I don't know. It's not cheap at all. That I know for sure. And we just finished my fairy tale weekend, and I'm still thinking of fairy tales, and especially of enchanted mirrors. So I'm going to make an enchanted mirror with this. I mean, this. And it'll be cool because, you know, we can have it for Halloween, or we can have it for springtime, or you can have an enchanted mirror during Halloween. How about that? Anyway, check it out. Let's get started. <laughs> so for today's craft, we're going to need a dollar store plastic mirror. Ooh, I should clean this before I get started, actually. Look at that. Oof. Got to clean that up. Anyway, and we're going to use some Mackenzie Child's portly check paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And of course, a Dollar Tree sign. I'm not gonna rub off all that. No, no, no. We're gonna leave it like that because I can still use it for Halloween. But I have a nice, clean background. So I will be using this side. Let's get started. So let's get started. We're going to decoupage this sign with my favorite gloss, Mod Podge, from the Plaid family of products. Did I scare you by putting that so close to the camera? Yes, I think I did. And they just sent me that Mod Podge and also this sanding block, and that's gonna help to cut out those edges so I don't have to go through all that work. So let's get started. Because this is Mackenzie Childs, we can't forget a little bit of whimsy. So I've got some butterflies and some flowers, and I'll add that to the top here where you can see I have a boo-boo. So we can always fix boo-boos with flowers and glitter and ribbons and some decoupage.
So I went outside for a moment and painted the white frame gold. I thought it was very much more into the Mackenzie Child's inspiration. So let's attach the mirror back. Take off the backing. Just admiring my new work. What do you guys think? Did I hit the chic to cheap challenge? I think I did a pretty good job. A very Alice in Wonderland Mackenzie Child's sign and uh, it was made with a Halloween sign as I showed earlier. Anyway, thanks again to Christy Creates. Congratulations for hit hitting 15,000 and for always hosting this chic to cheap challenge. And also check out her co-host, Crafting with Cass. Thanks again, both of you, for always being an inspiration. Check out their playlists. They're wonderful. And thanks to all of you guys for visiting my channel. If this is your first time here, I go live three nights a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Fridays, I have the epic craft battle where I go head to head and challenge another crafter to create something. But you know what? We always end up creating a lot of fun. Check us out and thanks again. As I say every night when I say goodbye to my friends, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure, even if it's through Alice in Wonderland's looking glass. See you soon, guys. Bye! <laughs> I was going to make some decorations for Halloween, but uh, something's missing. <laughs> well, I'd be interested to see how you do. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. it's very easy. This being a job <clears throat> application. <coughs> oh!